What's up everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. So over the weekend, my husband and I worked on a little project in our kitchen that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm not sure if I've ever showed you, but the wall by our back door is pretty bare. We just have a big farmhouse clock hanging up that we got from Hobby Lobby a few months ago. I never added anything else. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but after staring at it for a few months, it really needed something. It needed some kind of decor, uh, it just needed something. It was just so bare. I couldn't stand looking at it. As most of us do when we need more ideas, I started scrolling through Pinterest and finally came to the decision that I wanted to hang hook rails. There were a few that I have seen at Target that I liked. Actually, the one on the end of my island is from Target and I really do like that one. But the problem with that is the hooks don't move, so I can't adjust anything. So my biggest concern when looking for a hook rail was to make sure that the hooks were adjustable so I could move the decor pieces around however I wanted to. So we took a little trip to Ikea and picked out the matte black hook rails that they have. I'm sure you guys have seen them. Um, we bought the longer one, it was like 31 inches. The shorter one I believe is 23, but the 31 just fit our wall perfectly. So I ended up getting two of those. After we got home and took the rails out of the packaging, we noticed there were only two black screws in each package, which is kind of weird because each rail, you need a total of six screws. So just FYI guys, if you end up buying the rails from Ikea, you're gonna have to pick up black screws to go with it. I honestly wanted to attempt hanging the rails myself, but my husband and I, we like to do projects together. So I was like, you're better with the tools, you hang them up, and I'll decorate. As you can see here, my husband had to move the clock up like six or eight inches. I wanted enough space between the two bars, but the lowest one, I had to make sure that it wasn't too low to the ground in case I wanted to hang like cutting boards or anything that they were gonna come close to hitting the floor. After he repositioned the clock and got the rails hung up, I am very happy with the results. I think the placement is perfect. So obviously I had to go shopping for more stuff, I knew that I wanted a few more cutting boards and maybe some faux plants to hang up. I know some of you are going to be like, do you really need more cutting boards, Kelly? Um, yeah, there's like always room for more cutting boards. Don't you guys know me yet? My first stop was Home Goods, which I was a little disappointed. I didn't find anything that I liked, so I moved on to Marshalls and they had a ton of stuff that I liked. So I grabbed a few items there grabbed a few items from Target, which I'm gonna show you guys, and then we are gonna style the hook rails for everyday use or everyday home decor. You guys know with spring and Easter on the way, I'm gonna have a bunch of new home decor videos to show you, so the hook rails are not gonna stay this way for long. You know I'm gonna jazz it up for Easter, but for now, we're just gonna show you like an everyday look. Before I get them styled, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up from the stores. The first few items that I'm going to show you guys are all for Marshalls. So first up is this black and white ticking stripe apron. I love this. I love the material. It's like a canvasy kind of material. It has a pocket in the front and this one was only $10. I thought that was a great price. And even if I don't wear it, it's going to look so pretty hanging up on hook. Next up is this olive wood spoon that I found on clearance for $4.50. And then I found a few acacia cutting boards. I actually love this type of wood. I like the color of it. This one was $14.99. And then I found another one that had more of a square shape to it, and this was also $14.99. And then I found another rectangle board, which has this faux leather strap on it. This one was $12.99. I'm probably gonna end up taking this off just because when you hang them like this, they just kind of go to the side like that and I want them to hang straight. So I'm probably just gonna hang it right there on the handle. And the last one I found was right by the register when I was leaving. It's this little white marble and wood cutting board. This one was only $10. I thought it was a great price considering it's a little bit heavier, but I think it's gonna look really pretty and stand out against all the other plain wood cutting boards. And the last item that I bought is this faux plant in a seagrass basket. This is by Threshold from Target, and this was only $15. And the last couple of things I had sitting in my pantry, which I thought would work really well. First up is this wreath. This is from the Target Dollar Spot. I got this like last spring and I believe this one was like $3. I'm sure they're gonna bring these back out. They have them every season. 
And then I have this little knit shopping bag that I picked up at Ikea, I think last year, but I was just there and I saw them. So I know they still have them. I can't remember the price. I will link them down below for you guys though. And I think I'm just gonna end up filling this bag with a few lemons that I have laying around. All right, guys, let's go style those rails and see how it all comes together. First time I ever saw you, I fell in love when you entered the room. And when the light hit your face, we were just kids, but I knew right away that I will be with you until I stop breathing. I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Oh, hold me close Promise you won't let go I'm nothing without you I don't know what I would do without you You are the one video i hope you enjoyed our little mini addition to our kitchen if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you on the next one oh, I can't.